Hi everyone, welcome to Sainin How to Study Chinese. This is HSK Level 1 course, and I'm your teacher, Ronnie. Today we are going to learn Lesson 8, 第八课, 我想喝茶, 我想喝茶, which means I'd like some tea. Okay, now let's move on to our first part, warm up. Consider six pictures and six words. Now let's first focus on the words. First one is 钱, 七言, 钱, 钱, it means money, money. Next one is 米饭, 摸一米, 佛案饭, 米饭, it means cooked rice, cooked rice, which we can eat, okay, 米饭. Next one, 杯子, we are really familiar with it, it means cup or glass, right, 杯子. Next one is 茶, we also know what it means too. And last one, next one is 中国菜, 中国菜, also really familiar with it. And last one, 汉字, yes, we've learned it before, 汉字. Now let's try to fill in the blanks, I will give you 10 seconds because there are so many words we've learned before, okay? Okay, time's up. Now let's see the answers. First one, 钱, which means money. So which one should be 钱? The F, right? F. And next one, 米饭, 米饭, cooked rice. That is C, C. The next, 杯子, the cup is A. And next one, 茶, which means tea, is actually B. And next one, 中国菜, obviously it is D. And last one, 汉字 is E, Chinese characters. Okay, Chinese characters. Now let's move on to our next part, which is text and the new words. Okay, let's look at this part, the new word. First one is 想, 夕阳, 想, initial 西, the final 阳, 阳, and the tone, third tone. 夕阳, 想, read after me please, 想, 想, it means to think, to think, to want, and to would like, would like to do something, 想, 想. so you want to do anything, you just put that verb after 想, this is the structure, want to do something, 想, do something, okay, for example, if you want to eat, then it is 想吃, Chi is eat in Chinese. And if you want to drink, then xiang he, okay? And if you want to read the books, then it is xiang kan shu, right? Xiang kan shu. Okay, this is xiang to want, to would like. And next one is he, he, uh, he. Read after me, please. He, he. He, it means to drink, to drink. He, okay, try to say if you want to drink water, then it is 喝水. 水 in Chinese, it means water, okay? 水, 水, 喝水, okay, 喝水. So you want to drink is 想喝, 想喝. Next one is 茶, it is a noun, it means tea, although we just learned it this day, but actually we've learned, we've we come across this word many times before, in the lessons before. Okay, this is 茶, read after me please. 茶, 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 it means tea, tea. So try to say drink tea, drink tea, drink tea is... 喝茶, right? 喝茶. Okay, so if I want to ask, what do you drink? What do you drink? Then I will say, 你喝什么? 你喝什么? And the structure of it, we will still put the person, put the subject at the beginning of the sentence, right? 你, and we will put a predicate after the subject, 你, which is 
想喝，想喝，你喝什么？你喝什么？ Okay, 什么 is the object of 喝喝什么 means drink what? So if I want to say what do you drink, then it is 你喝什么 And if I want to say what do you want to drink, then it is 你想喝什么 right? 想喝什么 We just need to put 想 before the 喝 Okay, 你想喝什么And now let's try to answer this question. I drink tea. I drink tea. Okay, I drink tea. How to answer this question? It is 我喝茶 right? 我喝茶 Okay, next try to say I want to drink tea. I want to drink tea. Then it is 我想喝茶，我想喝茶。Okay, very good, very good. 想喝茶 Here it is. 想喝茶 Okay, next one. 吃吃一吃 Read up to me, please. 吃吃吃 It means to eat, to eat. So to eat. If I say I want to eat, then it is. 我想吃，我想吃。Okay, let's see the last new word of text one, which is 米饭。米饭，摸一米，拨案饭。米饭 ，it means cooked rice. Cooked rice. And in this 米饭，米 means rice. 饭 means meal. So the meal made by rice, which is Cooked rice. Okay, 米饭 So try to say, I want to eat 米 I want to eat cooked rice. I want to eat cooked rice. Okay. So we will put the subject at the beginning of the sentence, which is 我爱我 want to eat is 想吃我想吃 cooked rice is 米饭 So the sentence is. 我想吃米饭。我想吃米饭。我想吃米饭。Okay, very good. And if you want to just say eat some meal, eat meals, then you can just say 吃饭。This 饭 here is enough. 吃饭 eat meal, eat meal, 吃饭。And try to say eat Chinese dish, eat. Chinese dish. Eat Chinese dish. How to say that? It is 吃中国菜。吃中国菜 ，right? 吃中国菜。Okay, we've learned 中国菜 before. Okay, next one. Try to ask a question. What do you eat? What do you eat? The question. What do you eat? Try to answer it. It is. 你吃什么？你吃什么 ？We will try to use this interrogative pronoun 什么 more often. Okay. 你吃什么 ？What do you eat? 你吃什么 ？Okay. Then if I say I eat cooked rice, then it is 我吃米饭。我吃米饭。Okay. Try to ask another question. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? Then it is 你想吃什么 Yes, it is the same structure as the 你想喝什么 we've said before. Okay, 你想吃什么你想吃什么 Okay, now let's try to read these new words from start each four times. Three, two, one. 想想喝喝茶，茶吃吃米饭，米饭。Okay, very good. Now let's move on to our text. I will read it and please listen carefully. 你想喝什么？我想喝茶。你想吃什么？我想吃米饭。
Okay, let's see the text. Sentence by sentence. First sentence is 你想喝什么? 你想喝什么? This means what do you want to eat? Okay, we can see here is the 想 plus the verb structure. 想喝, 想喝 means want to eat and be answered. 我想喝茶, 想 plus a verb, I want to do something. 想喝茶, I want to drink some tea, I'd like some tea. And A asked again, 你想吃什么? 想 plus the verb, 吃, 想吃, what do you want to eat? And B said, 我想吃 米饭, I, I'd like some cooked rice, 想 plus the verb, 吃. So we can see in this text, we are practicing 想 plus the verb, this structure, okay? 想, do something, 想, do something. Okay, let's, now let's try to read it from the start, okay? Read after me. 你想喝什么? 我想喝茶. 你想吃什么? 我想吃米饭. Okay, now let's try to read it in the row. I will be A and you will be B, okay? 你想喝什么? 你想吃什么? Okay, let's switch the row. I will be B and you will be A. Okay, three, two, one. 我想喝茶. 我想吃米饭. Okay, very good. Now let's move on to our text two. Let's see the new words first, as usual. First one is 下午. 下, 下午, 下午. Read up to me, please. 下午, 下午, 下午. It means afternoon, afternoon. They try to say today afternoon, today's afternoon. Today afternoon. It is. 今天下午, okay, 今天下午, we blend 今天 and yesterday and tomorrow before in last lesson, okay, 今天下午 is today afternoon, and try to say yesterday's afternoon, yesterday's afternoon, it is 昨天下午, okay, 昨天下午, Next one, try to say tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. It is 明天下午, right? 明天下午. Okay, very good. 今天下午, 昨天下午, and 明天下午. Okay, now, so 下午 is afternoon. 下 means down. 下 means down. And we... Let's we try to say let we try let let's try to say this one. Try to guess this one. Shang Wu Shang Wu Shi Ang Shang Shang means up. Shang Wu. If you don't know what this word means, so try to guess. Shang means up, xia means down, and xia wu means afternoon. So xia wu means Xiao means, what does this mean? It can mean morning. Yes, it means morning. Shang Wu means morning. Shang Wu, morning. Okay, so Zhong Wu, Zhong Wu, Zhi Wu, Zhong. Zhong means middle, so Zhong Wu, try to guess, it actually means the noon, the noon. Okay, Zhong Wu means the noon. Shang Wu, morning. 下午, afternoon, 中午, afternoon. And there is other way to express 上午, express morning, which is 早上, 自熬, 早, 十昂, 上, okay, 早上, I will write it here, 早上, 早上, okay, read up to me, 早上, 早上, okay, this is Morning, another way to say morning. 
Next one is 商店. 商店, 食安, 商, 这个店, 商店, Read up to me, please. 商店, 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 means shop, store, shop, store, 商店. So try to say, go to the shop. Go to the shop. This structure we've learned it before. It is to go to somewhere is to a place, right? To a place. So go to the shop is to shang dian. To shang dian. Okay, to shang dian. And if I say ni qu nar, ni qu nar, then it means where are you going? Nar means where. Ni qu nar. Go where? Where are you going? And try to answer it by using 商店. 你去哪儿? So, when we are using 商店, then I will say, I will go to the shop, which is 我去商店 in Chinese. 我去商店. Okay, then try to say, I want to go to the shop. I want to go to the shop. Then it is 我想去商店. 我想去商店. 想去商店. Okay, very good, very good. Next one is buy. Buy, which is used in shop. This word is used in the shop. It is 买, 买. Read up to me, please. 买, 买. It's a third tone word, 买. It means to buy, to purchase, 买. So to buy a cup is 买杯子, 买杯子, okay? 杯子 is here, 杯子, cup. 不爱杯子, zi is the neutral tone. 杯子, read up to me please. 杯子, 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 a cup, a cup. So when I want to say buy cup, it is 买杯子, 买杯子, okay? And when I want to say a cup, a cup, then what will we say? We will use the number first and then put a magic word after it and then the noun we want to describe, we want to say. So one cup. When we translate this word into Chinese, then it should be one metal word cup, right? So it is e metal word base, and the metal word is here. Ge, ge, yi ge base. Read up to me, please. Ge, 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 e, ge, ge. It is a very general metal word in Chinese. It is used at the before the nouns which don't have the specific metal word for it. So yi ge base means one cup. One cup. Okay. Now this is the new words and try to say what do you buy? What do you buy? This is a question. What do you buy? Try to say it. It is ni mai shema. 你买什么? Yes, by using this my, we just learned 你买什么? 你买什么? Okay, try to say I buy a cup. I buy a cup. I buy a cup. Then it is 我买. First, we will say the subject 我,me. 我, and then the verb 买, 我买, and a cup is 一个杯子,一个杯子 And please pay attention to the 个 here. When we are learning it individually, it is a first term syllable. But when we are using it as a major word, it is usually neutral term. So it is not 一个杯子, it's 一个杯子,一个杯子. So in this phrase, 一个杯子, there are two neutral tones. One is ge, one is zi, okay? 一个杯子, 一个杯子. Read up to me, please. 一个杯子, 一个杯子. Very good. 一个杯子. Okay. Now let's try to read these new words from start each four twice. Three, two, one. 下午, 下午, 
商店，商店，买，买，个，个，杯子，杯子。Please pay attention to this. 下午，午 is a third tone and it is in the dissyllabic collocation, so we should read it as a half third tone. Okay, half third tone. 下午 Now let's move on to our text. I will read it and please listen carefully. 下午，你想做什么？下午，我想去商店。你想买什么？我想买一个杯子。Okay, let's see sentence by sentence. First one, 下午 it is a time word means afternoon, right? Afternoon. And 下午 here and here is our subject. Me, you want to do something. You is the subject of this sentence, and 想做 means want to do something. We just learned 做 means to make, to create, and it also has other meanings, which is do something, do something. Okay, so 想做 is want to do, want to do, and 什么 is an interrogative pronoun, which means what, what. So this sentence actually means what do you. Would you like to do in the afternoon? Okay. What would you like to do in the afternoon? And B answer. 下午 time word again at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. At the beginning. 下午下午 and 我想去商店。我 me the subject of the sentence want to do want to do what 想去商店 to go to the shop. Go to the shop, 商店 shop. Okay, we can see this. 下午 is put before the subject. Okay, before the subject. But sometimes it can also put after the subject. And we will talk about it later. Okay, later. Next one. A said, 你想你想买什么你 you want to 买 which means buy. Want to buy what? What do you want to buy? And B said, 我想 I want to buy a cup. 一个杯子，一个杯子 Okay, I want to buy a cup. Now let's try to read it from the start. Okay, read it from the start. Three, two, one. 下午你想做什么？下午我想去商店。你想买什么？我想买一个杯子。Okay, let's read it in a row. I will be A and you will be B. Three, two, one. 下午你想做什么？你想买什么？Okay, let's switch the row. You will be A. Three, two, one. 下午，我想去商店。我想买一个杯子。Okay, very good. Now let's move on to our last text. Text three. First, let's see the new words as usual. The first new word is 知饿这，知饿这 Read up to me, please. 这，这 actually is not that new for us. We've come across it before. It means this, this, okay, this. And when we are going to say here, here, we've learned it is 这儿。这儿 ，OK， here， 这儿 ，OK， and when we are learning this， we need to learn that， that in Chinese is 那，那啊，那，那啊，那 ，use your nose， OK， 那，那，那 ，OK， 那 means that， that， OK， and if I wanna say this is cup， this is cup。How to say it in Chinese? This is cup. This is cup. It is 这是
Beize. Don't forget about the shi. Okay, shi. This is beize. This is cup. This is beize. This is cup. This is beize. So try to say, what is this? What is this? Try not to think use the structure of English. Try to use it in Chinese. We've talked about it before many times. In Chinese questions, we will still usually put the put the subject at the beginning of the sentence, put the people at the beginning of the sentence. So it is. Okay, okay try to say. This is cup is 这是杯子. And when we are trying to make a question about this, then it is 这是什么? We can see we just replace this specific noun into an unspecific one, unspecific interrogative pronoun, which is 什么? 这是什么? Which means what is this? What is this? So when I want to say what is that? Then it is 那是什么, right? 那是什么, 那是什么, okay? So now let's try to say this cup, this cup, this cup. Is it just 这杯子? 这杯子? No, it is 这个杯子, okay? 这个杯子. We will put ge in between zhe and the major word ge and the cup. So we when we are describing something, we might use this structure first, zhe, and then a major word, and then the noun. Okay, 这个杯子, 这个杯子, and try to say this person, this person. Is Jagaran? Don't forget about the new words we've learned before. Jagaran, Jagaran. And the student, this student is Jagashang, Jagashang. And this teacher is Jagalashi, Jagalashi. Okay, it is the same as na. When we want to say that thing, then it is na plus a. Major word plus a noun, okay? So when I want to say that that person, then it is 那个人, that student, 那个学生, that teacher, 那个老师, okay, 那个老师, very good. Now let's move on to next new word is here, 12. It is 多少, 多, 多少少, 多少, 多少, read up to me please. 多少, 多少, 少 is neutral term, okay? 多少, 多少, it means how many, how much, 多少, 多少, okay? Next one is 钱, 钱, we've seen it in the warm up, 钱, it means money, money, 钱, 钱, money, so how much money, how much money, try to say that, how much money, it is? 多少钱? 多少钱? Okay, how much money? 多少钱? 多少钱? The next one is 课外, 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 read up me please. 课外, 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 it is a unit of money, unit of money, the same as yuan. Yuan is the unit of Chinese currency, renminbi, okay, yuan. So one yuan, one yuan is 一块, 一块, okay, 一块. Don't forget about Tong Sandy of E. Tong Sandy of E. It is before the first term word, so it changed into second term, okay? 一块, 一块. And quai is also, it also means some block or something. And today we are just going to learn the meaning of major word, a unit of money, a unit of money. So when I want to say, when I say 一块钱, then it means the same as 一块, okay, 一块, 一块. Okay, now read up to me, read four twice, three, two, one. 这, 这, 多少, 多少, 钱, 
前快快那那 Okay, now let's move on to our text. I will read it and please listen carefully. 你好，这个杯子多少钱？二十八块。那个杯子多少钱？那个杯子十八块钱。Okay, let's see. First one, 你好 which means hello, hello, 你好。这个杯子 this cup, we can see 这 plus the middle word 个 and the non 杯子。这个杯子 this cup 多少钱 ？How much is it? So this means how much is this cup? How much is this cup? It is 二十八块，二十八块 ，twenty eight yuan, twenty eight yuan. 那个杯子，那个杯子 ，that cup， 那 plus 个 middle word and plus 杯子，那个杯子 that cup 多少钱 ？How much is that cup? And B said that cup， 那个杯子十八块钱，那个杯子十八块钱 ，that cup is eighteen yuan， eighteen yuan. Okay, now let's try to read it from the start. Read after me. 你好。这个杯子多少钱？二十八块。那个杯子多少钱？那个杯子十八块钱。Okay, please pay attention to this. 你好 ，because there are two third tones together, third tone syllables together. So we will change the first third tone into second tone. Okay, 你好，你好 ，and the next 好 is where is a half third tone. 你好 ，it's not. 你好 ，It's 你好，你好 ，OK. Now let's try to read it in a row. I will be A and you will be B. Three, two, one. 你好，这个杯子多少钱？那个杯子多少钱？Okay, let's switch the role. Please start. 二十八块。那个杯子十八块钱。Okay, very good. Now let's move on to our Language point part since we finished our text. Okay, so first one is the modal verb 想想想想 It means want to do something. Want to do something. It is always used before a verb to express a hope or plan. Plan. So the structure of 想 is the subject plus 想 and plus a verb. It is somebody want to do something. Someone want to do something. And the negative version of 想 is 不想不不不不想 The subject plus 不想 plus a verb. Okay. Now let's see the examples. First one. 我想学汉语。我想学汉语。What is the subject of this sentence? And 想学想学 actually is the modal verb 想 plus a verb 学想学 want to study and want to study what 汉语 which is Chinese Chinese okay next one. 明天我想去学校看书。明天我想去学校看书。Tomorrow 明天 I want to go to school. 想去学校 ，want to go to school. 想去学校看书 ，to do something. And in this sentence, we can see there is 去 plus 呃、uh, 看 There are verbs in series. Okay, verb in series. We learned it in last lesson. Verb in series. 去 a place plus plus 呃、uh, plus 呃、uh, do something. Okay, do. Let's do something. 去学校看书 two verbs. 
to vote. 明天我想去学校看书. Tomorrow I want to go to the school to read books. Okay, the last example is 我想买一个杯子. 我想买一个杯子. 我, me, want to, 想买, want to buy 一个杯子, a cup. I want to buy a cup. I want to buy a cup. So these are the examples of this structure. Now let's try to make the sentence by yourself. First one, I want to drink some tea. I'd like some tea. It is, I'd like some tea is, 我想喝茶. 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 Okay, next sentence. I don't want to eat Chinese food. I don't want to eat Chinese dish. Then it is, 我 plus the plus this 不想, right? I don't want to eat, so 不想. 我不想吃中国菜. 我不想吃中国菜. I don't want to eat Chinese dish. Okay, this is the modal verb 想. Okay, now let's move on to the interrogative pronoun 多少. 多少. Okay, 多少 is used to ask numbers larger than 10. Larger than 10. Okay, and second, the major word after 多少 can be omitted. Omitted. Okay, and it is always used in the money to ask about the amount of money. For example, 多少钱? How much is it? 多少钱? 多少钱? Let's see the example. First one, 你们学校有多少学生? 你们学校有多少学生? 你们学校, your school, your school, you have 多少, how many 学生, students? So, how many students do your school have? Does your school have 多少个学生? And we can see the 个 is in the bracket, which means it can be omitted. 多少个学生 is okay, and 多少学生 is okay too. 多少学生. Now let's move on to the next one. 你有多少个汉语老师? 你有, you have, 多少, how much, 汉语老师, Chinese teacher. So it is, how, my, how many Chinese teachers do you have? How many Chinese teachers do you have? Last one is, 这个杯子多少钱? It is from the text, this sentence, which means, how much is this cup? How much is this glass? 这个杯子多少钱? Okay, now try to make a sentence. How many Chinese books do you have? How many Chinese books do you have? Let's assume you have more than 10 Chinese books. Okay, how many Chinese books do you have? We will put a person at the beginning, right? You at the beginning. So, 你, and then the verb is 有, 你有, 你有. How many Chinese books is? 多少? And Chinese book is 汉语书, so 你有多少汉语书? 你有多少汉语书? How many Chinese book do you have? So this is the interrogative pronoun 多少? Now let's move on to next one. It's the measure word 个 and 口, 个 and 口. For these two measure words, 个 is a general measure word in Chinese and it is usually used before a noun without a specific major word of its own. For example, is 三个老师, 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 three teachers, three teachers. It is the number plus the major word 个, which is 个, and plus the noun, okay, number and noun. So next example is 五个学生, 五个学生, five students. Five students, okay? The last one, 一个杯子, we are familiar with it. it. It means one cup, one cup, 一个杯子. Okay, next one is the major word 口. It is usually used for members of our family, to count the members of family, okay? If you've forgotten it, please go to lesson five to check it, okay? 六口人, for example. 李老师家有六口人, 
Li Lao Shi, teacher Li, and Jia means home, home, our family. And Liu Kou Ren, Liu means six, so there are six people in Li, teacher Li's family, six people. Next one, Ni Jia Yo Ji Kou Ren, Ni Jia Yo Ji Kou Ren, it means how many people are there in your family? Ji Kou Ren, it is, we can see there is the number plus the ko and okay plus the ko and plus the ren ji ko ren how many people next one wo jia you san ko ren wo jia my family my family have three people san ko ren wo jia you san ko ren okay this is the matter word ge and ko ge is a general one and ko is used for count family members usually. And there are some special occasions, but we are not going to talk about it today. Okay, now let's move on to next language point, which is the expression of the amount of money in Chinese expression. The basic unit of renminbi, which is the Chinese currency is yuan, yi yuan, yuan, yuan is second term. And in spoken language, we are actually don't use yuan that often. We use kuai more often, okay, kuai, kuai, kuai. For example, first one is one yuan, one yuan, yi yuan, yi yuan. We will usually say yi kuai instead, yi kuai. So when you are buying fruit or vegetables in the shop, then you can hear when you ask how much is it, they won't tell you yi yuan or er shi yuan. They will tell you yi kuai, er shi kuai. Okay, yi kuai, er shi kuai. Next one, read up to me. Wu yuan, wu yuan, wu yuan. Okay, and wu kuai, wu kuai, wu kuai. Okay, next one, shi ten, ten yuan. Okay, try to read up to me. Shi yuan, shi yuan, shi yuan. And shi kuai, shi kuai. The next one is 50 yuan, which is wu shi yuan, wu shi yuan. Read up me, wu shi yuan, wu shi yuan, okay? And wu shi kuai is the same meaning. So read up me again, wu shi kuai, wu shi kuai. The last one is 100, 100, which is the biggest one in Chinese currency, 100 yuan. Okay, read up me. Yi bai yuan, yi bai yuan. Read up me, yi bai yuan. And it is the same as yi bai kuai, yi bai kuai. Okay, yi bai kuai. So this is the expression of the amount of money in Chinese. We use kuai in spoken language more often. And when we are writing, we will use yuan. Now let's try to put, fill in the blanks by using the information we've learned today. So first one, 明天我想去what by what? 明天 tomorrow, and 我想去 is I want to go. So here is a go, then we will put a place here, right, a location. And my means by, so my something, something here. And here, we actually can put in a time word, 明天, tomorrow. So try to say tomorrow morning, noon, afternoon, anything you want, you can put inside. So for example, I will answer the question, 明天上午,我想去商店买杯子, because here are two cups in the, in the picture, okay? 明天上午,我想去商店买杯子. Okay, next one. 今天我想吃, want to eat something, want to eat something. And so for the two, we, we will put the place update, place and the location. And can, because in the picture, this one, this person is reading books. So it is can, shu, right? Can, shu, okay, let's put can shu in it, can shu, and qu where, qu where. So where can we read books? Library, we didn't know it, how to say it in Chinese. So another place is school, right? So let's put a school inside, which is 学校. 
So the sentence can be 下午我想去学校看书下午我想去学校看书 okay. Now last one is 你好,请问这个杯子 请问, we've learned in last lesson, it means, excuse me, asking things in a polite way. And 这个杯子, 这 plus a middle word plus something, this cup, this cup. And here is the price. The hint is about the price. So we're asking about the price of the cup. So how to ask about the price? 这个杯子多少钱? Okay, 这个杯子多少钱? Very good. So this is the answer of it. 你好,请问这个杯子多少钱? Okay, these are the exercises for today. Now let's move on to our disyllabic words, the collocation in disyllabic words. So today is about the third tone plus first, second, and third, and fourth tone. Okay, let's see these words, these four words. First one is 手机. 手机, which means mobile phone, 手机, and let's see the pitch here. So first we can see this third tone here is really starting from the pitch two, and it falls to pitch one, and it didn't rise up, okay? It's show, it's like this, show, show, and see this first tone is really high at the fourth pitch, fourth pitch. So it is 手机, 手机, it is a half the tone. Read up to me, please. 手机, 手机, it means mobile phone. Next one, 手镯, 手镯, it means bracelet, bracelet. And we can see this one, show is still half the tone, right? Half the tone, 手机, 手机. And this one is 手镯, 手镯. Read up to me, please. 手镯, 手镯. Okay, next one is watch. Watch. This watch. 手表. And we can see here, the first third tone is changing to second tone because when there are two third tone come together, we will change the first one into second tone. This is the tone sending up to third tones, okay? Second tone and the next one is half third tone. So read up to me. Show biao. Show biao. Show biao. Okay, last one. Show tao. Show tao. We can see this one for show tao. This show is still half third tone, right? And tao for tone, nothing special. Read up to me, please. Show tao. Show tao. So for this one, third tone with other tone, it is still, we should pay attention to the third tone we, if we should change it into half the tone. And when there are two third tones together, please pay attention to the tone sandy, tone sandy. Okay, now let's try to practice, practice this. Let's practice this part, this line, okay? okay because there are two third tones, so, we will change the first one or the first one into second tone, right? So read up to me. Yu san, yu san, yu san. Okay. First one is second tone, and second one should be half the tone. Okay. Yu san. Next one is mei hao. Read up to me, please. Mei hao, mei hao, mei hao. Next one is xi zao. Read up to me, please. 洗澡, 洗澡, 洗澡. Okay, last one is 表演, read up me please. 表演, 表演, 表演. Okay, now let's move on to next part, which is the single component characters. Let's try to write it. First one is 少, 多少, 少. It means small, small, okay, small. And it is opposite to many, 多. And it actually looks like xiao, which means small. Okay, now let's see how to write it. So first we will write a short vertical and then two dots and then a left turning, left turning. Okay, try to write it with me again. Vertical, two dots and then a left turning. Again, 
vertical two dots and then a left turning. This is shao shao. It is a third tone. But when we are talking about du shao, then it is neutral tone. Okay. Now let's move on to the next word, which is ge. Ge, the, the general major word, ge. You can see it actually originally meant one individual person. You can see this one looks like this. And now it looks like this. We can see this part is still a person, right? Ren, it is written like this. And if we put a vertical after it, then it becomes ge. Now let's see how to write it. First is a left turning, and then a right turning, and then a vertical inside it. Don't link it, okay? Don't link it. Try to write it with me. Left turning, right turning, and then a vertical. Left turning, right turning, and then a vertical. Really easy. Okay, now let's move on to the next one, which is the structure of Chinese characters, part three. Part three. Last lesson we've learned left right and left middle right, these two structures. Today we're going to learn up and Top and bottom, top, middle, bottom. These two structures. And let's see the example characters. Okay, first one we can see obviously it is top bottom structure. So first one is shi means to be, to be shi. Let's see. We can separate it from here, right? It up in the top, it is this part, this particle. And in bottom is this particle. We can clearly separate these two parts, right, from middle. And next one is ba, hua a ba, which means father, ba, father. And we can see, we can separate it from this part, okay? So first in the top is this. And in the bottom is this part. We can separate it from here, from here, two parts. And there are no other gaps in between, so we cannot separate this and this, these two parts into another part, okay? This is about top and bottom structure. Now let's see, next one is top, middle, bottom structure. So first one is cha, we just learned it, it means T. T. So for, for this T, we can see first is this part, this part. This particle is Cao, zi tao, this particle. And then we will write this part, right, which looks like Ren, the human. And then we will write this part. So it is really obvious we can separate it into three parts, right, three parts. The next one, it is Gao, which means high, tall. Okay, let's write it and we can see how to separate this. So first is a dot and then a, a horizontal and then a, this thing looks like a mouth co and then this part. So try to tell me, can we separate into three parts? Yes, obviously, this part, this part, and this part. And this is a this is a radical. We won't separate the dot and the horizontal into two parts, okay? This is a individual radical, okay? This is the top bottom and top middle bottom structures, these two. Okay, now let's move on to the last part of today, which is two radicals, two new radicals. One is Jin Zi Pang, one is Kou Zi Pang. Jin Zi Pang is about Jin, which means the metal. Jin means gold and metal, okay? Jin Zi Pang, so it is about metal. So first, let's see the example character. First one is Zhong, Zhi Wong Zhong, it means clock, clock. So in Zhong is actually, clock is actually made of some metals, right? Metal. So we can see in the left part of Zhong, there is this Jin Zi Pang. Jin Zi Pang. Okay, next one is Qian, money. We all know in ancient time, money is not paper. Money is made by some metal, some metal. So Qian is also, has also this radical. 
which is 金字旁, 金字旁, okay, 钱, still has this radical. Next radical is 口, 口 means mouth, 口 means mouth. So it is usually related to mouth, related to speaking, related to mouth. So first is 吃, we are really familiar with it. It means to eat, to eat. And eating is about using your mouth. So here we can see the radical 口, radical 口. Next one is 喝, to drink. So we can still see the radical 口 here, 喝, drink. Okay, this is two, these are the two Chinese radicals, 金字旁 and 口字旁. Okay, so these are all for today's lesson. Thanks for listening. Please try to practice the new words and the pronunciation of these new words and try to write the single component characters after the class. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.